Finally tonight, the cost of secrecy. I want to talk about the secrecy surrounding Mitt Romney's campaign. There are five months left in this race, and we'll definitely learn more about Mitt Romney before it's over. But as we've reported, there's much don't know about him, like his lack of hard policy solutions, something his surrogates say is a good thing. I think right now... Uh, Romney is smart to wait before he starts laying out proposal after proposal, but he ultimately will. That's a big enough problem. But the heart of this issue is his secrecy about how he accumulated his wealth and what he's done with it since. Now, one of Mr. Romney's spokespersons say questions about his wealth are an unfounded character assault, calling them unseemly and disgusting. But I don't see it that way. The only way to judge how someone would lead the country is to look at their past. The president says it's important to have these questions answered. What's important if you are running for president is that the American people know who you are, what you've done, and that you're an open book. An open book. That's hardly what we're seeing. New York Times columnist Paul Krugman says, quote, what a man does with his money is a major clue to his character. So that's why there are questions. That's why the veil of secrecy is troublesome. Mitt Romney keeps saying he's proud of being a successful businessman. He's proud that he was able to earn and do well. And that's good. So if you're proud of us, tell us how you did it and tell us what you did with it. You can't be proud of something that you won't tell us what it is that you're proud of. Spread the pride. Or we would only assume that you have something to hide. And hiding is not an attribute and is certainly not part of being proud. Thanks for watching. I'm Al Sharpton.